Most of the Republicans running uh, for president of the United States are basically disingenuous. The state of Texas did an investigation on Planned Parenthood based on uh, those bogus videos that were uh, shot and used in um, going after Planned Parenthood. Principal among the people uh, going nuts on uh, these videos was Carly Fiorina who claims that she saw the videos firsthand and and she was depending on the videos and how disgusting etc cetera, etc cetera, these videos were. Okay, you also have the majority of the Republicans uh, siding, uh, attempting to defund, defund Planned Parenthood including people such as Marco Rubio. Well, uh, again, Texas uh, basically did an investigation and has cleared Planned Parenthood from any type of wrongdoing, etc. And it's been discovered that the people who actually did the undercover shooting of the videos basically broke the law. They misrepresented themselves and falsified government uh, IDs in order to gain access to the Planned Parenthood uh, people to discuss you know, the issues that they discussed. And this in Texas is against the law. So now that this has come out, you basically are going to see uh, Marco Rubio and Carly Fiorina and even uh, Ben Carson uh, make statements regarding it. Now, this is my question to them. If this investigation was done by the state of Texas, which has a Republican governor, a Republican uh, uh, attorney general, a Republican legislature, both houses, and the district attorney, I'm sorry, the attorney general, again, who is Republican, does an investigation and clears them, how much more evidence do you need? Now, are you going to try to claim that the these Republicans are actually uh, Democratic or progressive uh, uh, people in disguise? That's a bunch of crap. But anyway, let me play the uh, video regarding this section so that you can see how disingenuous uh, Marco Rubio is uh, trying to turn it around and uh, say that uh, there was something wrong with Planned Parenthood being found uh, not guilty of anything, but uh, continuing the investigation to where the evidence led and found that these people agents of anti-abortion uh, wing uh, broke the law in doing what they did. It is not. Well, we're not seeing too much reaction specifically on the campaign trails of this. We did have Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio is certainly one of the Republican voices, right. one of the pro-life voices uh, who's expressed his objections to Planned Parenthood. He did weigh in on this, uh, on this move last night. We can play what he had to say for you. Apparently a district attorney in Texas decided to clear Planned Parenthood. They've done nothing wrong. Guess who got indicted? The two people who filmed the videos. This is, this is what we're heading towards. The two people who exposed the wrongdoing of Planned Parenthood have now been indicted by a grand jury. But Planned Parenthood's been cleared. This is just another example of why we are headed in the wrong direction as a nation, as a people, as a country, as a government. Now, he's upset because Planned Parenthood got cleared. If they didn't do anything wrong, shouldn't they have been cleared? No, you were looking for the state of Texas to uh, back you guys up as far as your anti-abortion opinions are concerned. And since they discovered that the two people who made the film or videos broke the law in gaining access to Planned Parenthood, what are you saying? That uh, they, they shouldn't be prosecuted for breaking the law? I thought you guys were uh, pro, uh, pro law, pro everything as far as uh, following the Constitution and all the laws they're under. But apparently, when it goes against you guys, you jump up and down and, and try to make these false claims. But anyway, let's go on to uh, the Fiorina part. <laughs> And Tamron, again, we haven't heard too much reaction from other candidates, although I do imagine that's probably likely what we'd hear from any of the Republicans. And frankly, on the Democratic side, there'd be a lot of defense of Planned Parenthood because 
that's what we've been seeing now for five or ten years. This has really become Planned Parenthood uh, has been the opinion that has been divided between the two parties. What's interesting is that this grand jury is based in Texas, a red state Republican governor who has vowed to continue the investigation in the state, and it says the state of Texas will continue to protect life, and I will continue to support legislation prohibiting the sale or transfer of fetal tissue. Ben Carson did react uh, to it. He said he was saddened by the decision. Mike Huckabee, I guess, also went to Twitter. But the Carla Fiorina part of this is so interesting. She was just on uh, CNN, Steve, where she was asked again about those comments that she made, saying she saw this video of uh, this fetus fighting for its life. And she says that here's what I know. Planned Parenthood has been trafficking in body parts. Planned Parenthood has been altering late-term abortion techniques to the specific purpose of harvesting body parts. Well, this has, this has become the issue of Planned Parenthood. There's, there's the literal issue here of the videotape, but the issue of Planned Parenthood really has become, it's a stand-in for what you think of abortion. Mm -hmm. And so for the Republican side, which is sort of up and down a pro-life party, an anti-abortion party, there's really going to be no development you can see that's going to get them to rally around Planned Parenthood. So it just becomes a question of emphasis. Are, are they going to emphasize these videos, or are they going to emphasize something else? And we see it on the Democratic side as well at this forum in Iowa last night, This the videotape itself, this issue with the grand jury, didn't come up, but there was Bernie Sanders who had said that Planned Parenthood was part of the Democratic establishment a week before he took some heat from Hillary Clinton. He found himself basically saying, no, no, I, you know, right. singing the praises of Planned Parenthood. There really is a partisan divide when it comes to opinion now. All right, thank you. Okay, and in case you guys didn't know it, uh, that video that Carly Fiorina was hanging her hat on, that had nothing to do with Planned Parenthood. That video actually came from uh, the birth of a child and the mother of that child basically came out and rebuked uh, Carly Fiorina in the, you know, telling the world that uh, that particular video was a video of the birth of her child. The child was born and is completely healthy. So again, Marco Rubio's full of shit, so is Carly Fiorina, Ben Carson. Most of the, uh, the uh, Republican candidates, and I'll say, some of the Republicans in general, you know, they don't have a clue.